Well, we're going camping again. We're on our way down to Capitol Reef. Well, we just took this side road and we're trying to explore this beautiful country up here. We decided to get out and walk around a little bit, see if we could figure out a way in. making it. Oh man, this place is awesome. We might just find a place to camp right here. Wow, look at that country. Wow, look at up there. If we oh, wow. could get up on that meadow. Well, the meadow is pretty unobtainable because we've got this big wash in between us that comes out of this smaller canyon on the side. So this little canyon just ends right there. Just awesome. And that's so bleachy white. So this is a big bag, and this is where I keep my string lights. As long as they come out in the same direction they went in, they don't tangle too much. So I just plug them in, and then I just start stringing them. What all do you need? Just a cutting board? Yeah. How many cloves of garlic do you think? Depending on what it is in the cooler, I'll insulate it. I'll put like a dish rag or something between it and the ice. So you don't freeze the vegetables? Yeah, because sometimes like vegetables, grapes, things like that get frozen. Usually meat and stuff is fine right against the ice, but... I'm trying to set this up as a little bit of a Swedish fire torch. So we'll get a little more heat out of it after doing the saute. Wow, that looks like a lot of veggies. I know, we might just save some and make omelets or something. Good colors though. Cover them right up, huh? Or anything it's nice like age. <laughs> that Swedish torch is already rocking the heat. It's only been running for a couple minutes. What do you think about running away without the kids? I'm kind of missing them. Do you feel guilty? No. I am kind of missing sitting around laughing with them while we're cooking. Pizza cutter. Pizza cutter? Yeah, you get the... Because when you're chopping herbs, they get squished up, you know, it's like bruises them. Yeah. Pizza cutter works really good, especially for the rosemary. You want to put that garlic in here? Yeah. You're starting to get browned up on the bottom. You want to get some salt and pepper on it? Sure. Oh yeah, those bellows are looking yummy. 
Mm, look at that. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Mm -hmm. Serious. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, chicken, sour cream, enchilada, green chilies. Wouldn't that be good to bake? Yeah, that sounds awesome. We'll do it. Oh yeah, this is looking really nice. Alright, I'm gonna pull these steaks off and let them rest. It's nice and hot on the top of this pan, so I'm just gonna put them right here where they will stay warm but not uh, but not continue to cook. You think we need to put the saute back on? No, it's probably okay if it feels warm still, it's probably fine. I think it's okay. I'm going to put this other plate down here where it can warm up. Oh yeah, they're still nice and pink. Oh man, that rosemary smells so good. Okay, I'm just going to sprinkle some of this rosemary on it. You want rosemary on yours? Yeah, a little bit for sure. That looks pretty. Absolutely, I want some right now. That's like the best thing I ever put in my mouth. Is it like no bake? Like is it... Um... No, you have to heat it up, but you just heat it up enough to melt it. Uh-huh. And it's yeah, that's really super good. good. You know what? That'd be like such good energy food. Oh, yeah. Mm. So savory. So good. We didn't sleep where we were exploring yesterday. We came to a secret camping spot that we found uh, that's very close to Capitol Reef. We've come here on the weekends three or four times. And so far, nobody has ever been up here. So it's really nice because Capitol Reef is getting to be a pretty busy place. Capacity, one handful. Okay, that's enough for one cup. Let's see how much we have left. Oh yeah, I'd say that's probably enough for one more cup. So you can basically do two cups of coffee per fill. And I'll just slide it right back into its handle now. 
So I'm going to rotate my nano this direction. This is the side that you put the flame guard on. I'm going to rotate these inward. And then I'm going to put my flame guard right here. That way I'll have the wind kind of blocked from this side, but the, but the wind will also have to go all the way around. Now what's a little bit different about this is how you set the pot on. You don't set the pot centered on the stove anymore. You set the pot offset. I'm going to lock the handle so that handle doesn't get hot. And then let's get a fire started. Found this just kind of a dead sage that was down in the actual sand. Knocked the sand off. But they're nice and straight. They're a little bit small but there's some actually some decent sized ones in here, so I'm gonna have some going through the side and then I'm gonna top load it. Sure is a beautiful morning. Well, we stopped at the Gifford house. They had really delicious pie and uh, really nice homemade cinnamon rolls. We're starting down the trail. Look at that. Those rocks just totally fell off of that cliff. Finally came to the water. It'd be nice to have our feet in the water for a while. Yeah, this is pretty. I'm sure he was that mad. Well, I'm sure she did. up on our second waterfall. You like, you like spicy, they're spicy, yeah. Yeah, it's jalapenos. They're pretty spicy. You can actually see the little green. I don't see any right there. Oh, there. Right there. You can see the little green jalapenos and stuff in there.
Okay, we finished our hike and we're on our way home, but we're hungry, so we're gonna stop at Cafe Diablo.